Hey everyone, it's Jason. Welcome to another Power Rangers Heroes of the Great Unboxing. Today we have Villain Pack number 3, The Legacy of Evil. Uh, so this is going to get us a few more Mighty Morphin Power Ranger uh, villains, uh, as well as some other ones extended a little bit farther beyond. Uh, definitely cool. So we're going to get Prontus Head, King Sphinx, Thrax, Terracode, and Gubatox. Uh, and like these sets, you usually get... Uh, Three monsters and two bosses. So it's definitely what we're going to get. Um, I've got a little ruley sheet here. The three monsters, the two bosses, all their cards, deployment cards, and there's some special replacement cards. Um, we'll go over in a minute. So they added a new variant to this called Roaming Monsters. Um, you can use in any mode. Uh, just to increase the game challenge if you already don't find this hard enough. At the end of each round, if there's a monster or boss in play, they move to the next location clockwise. It does not panic. New location panics immediately. Um, if there's, you know, multiple, you can choose how you move them. Um, and then Terror Code has the ability to steal cards. Um, so it's just a thing there. And replacement packs. I'm just going to go over this super quick here. Um, is, so now what they've done is they've changed Two of Pudgy, Pudgy Pig's cards. So I'm Hungry replaces Ravenous Hunger. And Void Binding replaces Shadow Binding for Rita. Um, basically, they, was, they determined these cards. At the time they made them, they, they thought they were fine. But essentially, they thought they were a little bit overpowered. A little bit too hard to de deal with. Um, so they made new versions. Now, any new, brand new version of the game that gets printed will have the new versions in. So if you bought the game, you know, you buy the game probably from like maybe last, early early this year or whenever to like whenever from now on, they're going to have the new versions in there. Um, the old ones still work. You can use them. They're just a little bit more difficult. Uh, but if you want to use them, swap them out. Um, there's all our people that make a game. Show it to those awesome people. Um, so let's look at those two cards really quick. Dirt. Just because they're not going to be monsters. Uh, so we have Void Binding for Riga. 7 health, fast card. Deal 5 damage to the Ranger. The most cards in their hand. That Ranger must discard all but one card from their hand. Um, I don't remember what the original one did, but I'm sure it was terribly bad. Um... And then we have Pudgy Pig, and we have two copies of his. It says, I'm hungry, so Pudgy Pig says fast. He drinks two energy. Each ranger must discard a card from their hand with the highest cost energy. Uh, when this card is defeated, each ranger may return one card from the discard pile to their hand. So he's stealing their weapons, and he spits them back out. So those are those. So if you have the... Clearly, if you have this set, you have the base game, so you can get those to swap them out if you want a little bit easier cards. Uh, so that's definitely cool that they're way to make like print off eragged cards essentially without having you just have to remember them all. Uh, all right, so let's start with our monsters. We're gonna start with King Sphinx here. Take a look at him. Uh, everyone was super excited waiting for him. Like, we got Golgar, now we need King Sphinx. Um, it's definitely cool. Big giant sculpt. Tag team him with Golgar, see what happens. Alright, what does he do to us? He has Cobra Beam. Six health fast. Deal four damage each to half of the Rangers in this battle. Round it up. He's going to slam you with some stuff. We've got two copies of Gale Force Wing. Three health. Remove one ranger from this battle and move their figure to the next location clockwise. That ranger must discard their entire hand. Um, discarding your hand really sucks. Uh, especially if this hits maybe early on. Um, yeah, but he just sends you out of there. He's like, get out of here. You go play somewhere else. Um... Well, yeah, not terribly powerful, but three doesn't have anything special on him. Uh, we have Scepter Barrage. Uh, fast Guard, four health. Deals two damage to a single Ranger four times. 
Um, so why did you say that and not just deal 8 damage? Because when you have to look for damage, each time you have to look for cards separate. So if the first time you do, do 2 damage and you draw a 2 shield or a 3 shield, you're done. Uh, 2 shield, you just take the damage. 3 shield, you go back on the bottom of your deck. Um, but if you drew a 1, you have to draw a second card. So if you had to do 8, you could get a 3, and a 3, and then a 3, you could get a couple of 3s, or 2 two threes and a couple of twos um so you could you could build up the damage a little bit higher by getting higher stuff but when they do two 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 every time you get like a one card it's gonna hurt you that much more um that's just why they did that we got a couple of those uh was there three of those yeah three of those uh and then his last two cards oop dropped it dropped it again Sphinx Slam. Deal 5 damage to the ranger, who's, the ranger who suffered this damage must discard one card from their hand. And it has a guard. Um, all these cards are abusive, but that's how that game is. These are not, you know, wow, this seems so easy and simple when you're, when you're watching them on the show. But then in this game, they're all brutal. So now we're going to look at Perantis Head. Uh... Where is Prontus Head? And here he is with his chum chucks. You'll see a little bit later. Definitely. I love the details on these guys. Because um, they really make them look like genuine monsters and not just like guys in overgrown suits. Um, so there's our chum chucks right there. Uh, four health. Fast. Deal 4 damage to each ranger with at least one Zord card. If no Zord cards are in play, deal 2 damage to each ranger instead. So this guy's kind of neat. He likes to mess with your Zords. Uh, so you got 2 of those. We have 2 copies of, or 3 copies of Hijack Attack. Which is a 5 health guard. Deal 4 damage to each of half the rangers in this battle, round it up, increase the damage by one for each Zord in play. So his first card um, deals four damage if you have a Zord. If you only don't, he only does two. So if you have your Zord though, he does more damage. And this one, he's gonna increase it for each Zord in play. So the more Zords you have out, so this guy you need to take out as quick as possible. Uh, so hopefully you draw him fast. You can take him out before you start getting Zords. Otherwise, he's just going to become more and more hard to, to beat. And we got two copies of Powerful Current. Uh, four health. Guard. Exhaust all Zord cards in play. If one or fewer Zord cards were exhausted this way, uh, deal three damage to each Ranger. So essentially, if you have lots of Zords, it just shuts down your Zords. You don't have a lot of Zords, though. He's just going to deal damage to you. Uh, so Zord can kind of absorb some of your damage. Absorb some of your damage. Haha. <laughs> and his final one is 3 health passive Zord Lockdown. With his cards in play, Rangers cannot use Zord abilities. So it's kind of a neat character. Uh, he shuts down Zords. He does damage if you have more Zords. Um, I don't think we have anyone that really interacted with Zords that much. So it's definitely cool. Here we have... Terror Toad. This guy is gross. Uh, look at this guy. Reminds me of a uh, Crag uh, from Metroid. Right? Just imagine him sitting here and Metroid's like, Samus. <laughs> if Metroid. Wow. It's a old person video game thing. Oh, yeah, off the Pokemon. Uh, yeah, you know, this guy has a big feathered horn things. Um, yeah, love it. Love the details. Alright, so this guy has some interesting abilities. So he's going to have a Horn of Hunger. Um, I love the artwork too. Uh, six health, fast and passive. Well, this ranger is, well, this card is in play. Each time a ranger attacks territory, steal the top two cards of their deck. Shuffle those cards back into the deck when this card is defeated or when the battle ends. So what happens is when you attack this guy, top two cards come off your deck, go underneath them. Uh, you gotta keep them like, underneath or near them, however you want to do it. They say underneath, just so you know they're, they're there. Um, but they need to stay face up so you can see whose cards is whose, and spread out enough so you can see how many cards there are. 
Um, is it just so you can keep a reference points? Uh, and then either if you defeat this card, then you get them back, or if the battle goes away and those cards are shuffle back, you get your cards back. So he doesn't keep them permanently. Um, but yeah, that can definitely suck the losing cards off there. And you combine it with some of the other guys that do more damage to you, um, or make you look to your deck or things. And yeah, the, the effects can definitely could add up. Uh, so Swallow Hole. Uh, five health, fast and guard. Skill four card from the Ranger to most cards in hand. Return those cards to that Ranger's hand. Uh, when the when this card is defeated or when the battle ends. It's basically going to shut down probably one Ranger for a turn. And we got two copies of that. We have two copies of Time to Croak. Deal one damage to each Ranger. Increases damage by one for each combat card currently stolen by Terror Toad. Uh, so yeah, first time it hits, it's going to deal, possibly only deal like one damage or so, but it's going to increase significantly the more cards it steals. And then we have the final one. We have three copies of Tongue Lash. Drain one energy, deal five damage. Any card discarded for defense are stolen instead. Return those cards to the discard piles. When they are defeated or when the battle ends. So yeah, another another cool, neat mechanic to add in there. Up next we have some bosses. So we're going to start with uh, the Space Queen Pirate Diva Tox. Who I think fought the Turbo Rangers? I believe. Maybe the next one's after that. So there's Diva Tox there. Her cape, her hands up. So all posy. Alright. So she has Depth Charge. Uh, she's fighting the Blue Centurion there. Uh, yeah, I think that's... I think it's... Turbo, I could be wrong. So many Rangers, hard to remember every set um, or every team and everything. Uh, four health, uh, guard, passive. Uh, when this card is in play, after each Ranger attack resolves, deal one damage to that Ranger. Uh, increase the damage by one for each zero rolled during that attack. It's, it's after the attack. It's not even after they attack that card. So you're probably going to want to try and take this one out as fast as possible. Uh, just so you don't have to deal with that. Um, we have two copies of that one. We have Eyes of Chaos. So you get two copies of that one. Five health and fast. Roll a guy on a miss. Drain three energy on a hit. Deal three damage to each ranger on a double hit to both. So that could definitely be devastating. We have fire torpedoes. So two of those. Just fast. Two different rangers must each discard the bottom two cards of their deck. Um, you might think why the bottom two and not the top two. Um, because if you draw a defense card and let's say you draw, you take one damage, you draw three, you prevent that, goes to the bottom of your deck. So this could actually hit you from basically below, kind of the same way Fire Torpedoes hitting you from below. Um, that thematically, and then it also takes out your higher, deep, potentially your higher defense cards. Um, so that could be bad. We have some Pirate Queen. Uh, five health, fast, and passive. While this card is in play, all foot soldiers gain the guard keyword and have plus one health. That is nasty. Um, kind of also cool because it's like, it's a boss that actually cares about our minions at least a little bit versus like, uh, Riga and Zag with the putties, um, or even when the Kangas came in, they're like, ah, cannon fodder, throw them out there. Uh, it's just kind of a neat thing. Uh, and then, Viva La Diva, 6 health, deal 4 damage to each half of the rangers in this battle, round it up. Increases damage by one for each Diva Tox card has been defeated or discarded. So basically, the more damage you do to her, the more danger she's going to get. 
Um, that's a third of four cards in here, I believe, that all have deal damage to half the Rangers. It's kind of also a neat little connecting uh, theme between all the characters. And our last boss and character, we're going to have Thrax. So this is the son of Zeg and Riga. Um, it looks really cool because his cards represent that. So he has cards that have like one word or a theming that fits into one of the two things. So he has a Curse of Doom, which I believe Riga has a different curse. Six health, passive, guard. List cards in play after each ranger. Combat card resolves, deal three damage to that ranger. That ranger may spend one energy to prevent the damage. So it's avoidable, but you know, if you have the energy. Which also after each combat card. So we have Hideous Blow. Um, six health, fast, deal four damage to the ranger at the most cards in their hand. Increases damage by one for each card in that ranger's hand. So, yeah, it hurts them if they have a lot more cards. So, I'm also not sure about this artwork here. So, that's the Money Morphin Black Ranger, but he has a special vest on. Which I'm not sure what vest that is. Um, so, that's definitely interesting. Um, we have Imposing Wave. We get two of those. Uh... 5 health, guard, drain 3 energy. Each ranger must either discard one random card from their hand or discard the top two cards of their deck. So a little bit of choice. Um, we have some lightning beams using Zed staff. Uh, 6 health, guard, deal 10 damage divided amongst the rangers as they choose. Oh, 10 damage is freaking terrible. I mean, they're bosses, that's what they do. Uh, and then finally, we have two copies of Void Burst. Deal six damage to each ranger. Reduce the damage that each ranger suffers by one for each card in their discard pile. So this is kind of an easy one. You'll hit you fast. Um, but then you'll kind of go away. This is kind of like interesting boss because he's a boss, but he gets some very powerful attacks. But a lot of it seem like, yeah, they're definitely manageable. Uh, and then we just have the deployment cards. And I love the fact that, like, bosses take six cards to your feet, so they put them in hex hexagons. And monsters take four cards, so they put them in diamonds. Uh, just to kind of show up, it's a quick reminder of how many cards they take to your feet. Um, so there's that. Oh, I didn't show him off yet. I skipped over showing off our good old friend Thrax. There he is. I don't know, my staff's a little warped, but I don't know if that's really fixable. I mean, I, I think run water under it. People say it fixes some of the warpage. But yeah, look at some of that detail. Awesome. All right. And then let's look at the colored pictures again, just a reminder what everyone looks like. So I should finish off the Lord Zeg Riga family because you have uh, Lord Zeg, Riga Repulsa, her brother Rito Repulsa, their dad, Master Vile, um, and then now you have uh, Thrax. Um, and obviously, they can keep making more packs like this with more Mighty Morphin uh, villains because there's so many of them. Um, I honestly hope that they kind of jump in and maybe do some packs with, like, villains from the other series. Because that's some really cool villains on them series, too. Um, but rather than maybe do, like, one pack for, you know, Ninja Steel and one pack for Jungle Fury. It'd be kind of neat to get a five pack with um, five villains from different sets. Um, I get you're trying to keep the bosses in there, the mo boss monsters in there, too. But even just a five pack of villains... Or just the monsters. But like from five different series would be really cool. Just to so get a different variety. Um, but yeah we'll see what happens. They have plenty of more content coming out. Plenty of more teams to get to. Uh, so that's what we got for today. Check out the other videos. See you later. Bye.